Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy who is Hendo, and we back talking sports, so I've been hearing NBA YouTubers, you know, <clears throat> look, I'm not a Steph Curry fanboy, Steph Curry is my favorite player in the league, but I don't attack people who say something wrong about Steph Curry or criticize him, but what I do do is speak up. If people are just blatantly just coming out with an opinion instead of facts. So, you know, I've been hearing, oh, Steph Curry and the Splash Brothers, and, uh, Clay Thompson, they played a role in uh, in Mark Jackson getting um, fired and everything. Okay. I Like, that's just a fact. Okay. <clears throat> so, I found this article. Clay Thompson shows respect for Mark Jackson because he believed in Splash Brothers. They call you crazy at times. This is in 2021. Clay Thompson gives props to former head coach Mark Jackson during a recent interview. The Golden State Warriors getting ready to return to the court, making significant progress to meet his goal. Meanwhile, he keeps training, taking shots, and giving interviews. This is during when he was still uh, dealing with the injury and stuff. Thompson, um, during Friday night's, game the shooting guard had the chance to talk with his first coach in the nba praising him for believing in him and steph curry when nobody did predicting what was coming for the warriors thompson talked with mark jackson who coached him from 2011 through 2014 thanking him for being supportive since day one calling him and steph the greatest backcourt in the history of the game give coach jackson credit said thompson before anyone else before Anybody believe in us? Sorry, Coach Jackson did. He called me and Steph Curry the greatest shooting duo of all time. I mean, that c- couldn't have come more true. Just a kind of testament to your ability to read the game. They called you crazy, but at the time, back in 2013 when the Warriors were just a promising team, Jackson saw something special in his players. The former point guard called them the greatest backcourt the game has ever seen, which raised plenty of eyebrows. Eight years after those claims, Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson are big legends in the game. They changed the way basketball is played right now thanks to their three-point talents. After the 2013-2014 season, Jackson left the Warriors, but that team was ready to take the next step and start winning championships. That's what happened when Steve Kerr took over because of because of Mark Jackson making the team a dynasty going to five consecutive finals, winning three championships. Now, look, I'm not a huge Steve Kerr fan. I think Mark Jackson laid the foundation for Steve Kerr to come in and then just take it and then take it away. I think they was already ready to win when Steve Kerr came in and everything. You feel me? They had already made the playoffs the last two years. They had lost, but I believe that they were already ready, bro. They was already ready that next year. You feel me? They have been to the playoffs, then they have been to the playoffs, and I think won around. you feel me? And then the next, you know what I'm saying, they was already, you know what I'm saying, they was already ready. They had got a taste of playoffs and everything like that with Mark Jackson and everything. So I believe Mark Jackson, his uh, fingerprints is all over those championships, truth be told. But what we're not going to do, though, is try to blame Steph and, and uh, Clay for Mark Jackson leaving when we have no true proof. It's one thing to listen. <clears throat> it's one thing to you know have your opinion about players and everything like that, but it's another thing, bro, to you know go and say. Oh, these guys had a uh, had something to do with with uh, Mark Jackson getting fired. Now, this is in 2014. It was tough seeing Coach go. The writing were on the wall from former Golden State Warriors head coach Jackson 
when the Los Angeles Clippers defeated his team in the first round of the 2014 playoffs. But unlike most coaches who would be fired, Jackson received a lot of support from the Warriors players, mainly Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. In an interview with USA Today Sports, Klay Thompson, fresh off a gold medal victory over Serbia in the 2014 FIBA World Cups, says it was tough seeing his former coach go, though he continues to support the front office, whose track record is proven. Looking backwards, a little bit for me, your team, blah, 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 blah. It was tough seeing Coach Jackson go, but at the end of the day, the front office did what they felt would be for be best for us to win. They made great moves in the past, so no reason not to trust them on this move. I've talked to Steve, and he seems really good, like a guy who's re- who is really going to open it up for us. I'm excited to work with him. It's easy to see why Thompson and Curry love Jackson. Unlike anyone else, Jackson showed faith in the Splash Brothers and never allowed it to waver. As Clay grew up as a player, Jackson allowed his role to increase within the offense, relying heavily on his ability to post those smaller wings. Now listen. People just coming out and automatically saying, yeah, they had a, they had a part in him getting fired. If Clay was getting better under Jackson and Stephen Curry was getting better under Jackson and his role was increasing, why would they want him fired? Why couldn't it be the front office? You feel me? The front office. And then you got to think about it, bro. Thompson wasn't no made man at that time. They wasn't coming to him. Oh, what do you think about this move? You got to remember, Clay Thompson was just getting, um, Clay Thompson was what, three years in? You feel me? Steph, they wasn't believing in him yet because his ankle injuries and everything like that. He had just started getting um, all-stars and everything like that. They damn sure wasn't asking Draymond Green. So for people to just come out and outright say, oh, yeah, these two, they played a role in getting uh, Mark Jackson fired. We don't know that, bro. Was you in them locker rooms? Was you, nigga, you act like you a Wojnowski or something. Bro, some of y'all NBA YouTubers be lying, bro. Real talk. For real. This been Who is Hendo with another video, man. I'm out.